Hi, welcome back to Blackjack. Um, you know, I noticed something. None of you have thanked my neighbor for providing me with her internet password so I can do these from my house and not have to go, you know, schlep all over the city. By the way, I notice um, I have some serious pizza face going on. That is because my CPAP mask is kind of made of absolute ridiculous and does not... Um, have any sort of sensitive skin options. <sighs> it looks even worse in person, I'm not kidding. It actually, right there on my lower lip. Ugh. Okay, so this is yet another one. We're on enough horse in this race. Um, I only tangentially know Green Lantern uh, because I watched the Superman and Justice League cartoons. Uh, so yeah, uh, I have no experience with Ben 10 at all. People are saying that Ben 10 has like universal power. And even the Green Lantern fans are saying that Ben is going to win. So um, I guess, I don't know. For years, humans have gazed at the stars. It's another show I've never watched. the possibilities of first contact with an alien race. Will we exchange gifts of peace or weapons of war? Weapons. Protector of Earth and wielder of the Omnitrix. And the Green Lantern. This is a delightfully stupid movie. Like it didn't inspire to be anything but. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. So that was. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh. Was just your average yeah, this is the third boy. one. He loved video games, so it's gonna be school, and was prepared CG. to have the most boring summer vacation ever until destiny fell from the sky. Vacation can't be boring. It's a waste of time. Upon discovering a strange crash-landed alien device, it Ever stuck food, itself upon fries. his wrist with secrets that it hid. 16 and he has not only doctorate or something that had Ben 10. Sorry, Wizzy. Just can't help myself, that theme song's so damn catchy! <laughs> this strange device was the Omnitrix, a portable library of intergalactic genetic data that can control. transform its user into a variety of different alien species. That must Sounds hurt. Like the perfect way to get freaky with some alien babes from all across the galaxy. Well, you <laughs> do you. But the cosmic warlord Vilgax had something different in mind. With the Omnitrix technology, he planned to create an army of superpowered aliens and conquer the universe. Just yeah, create them. Stuff, okay. But old hentai face would have to wait, cause Ben got the watch first and became a superhero. Well, okay, first he burned down a forest, but then he got busy with the hero Yikes. stuff. Yikes. The Omnitrix contains a built-in radio. Okay, let me look at some of these names here. Heat Blast, Diamond Head. Is that gonna be like a like a cobra? Uh, Wild Mutt, Accelerate, Forearms. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of going the um, He-Man route here, huh? And many more. Yes, I can see that with over one million samples. <sighs> so he's not really... It, it doesn't really create them. Uh, there we go. Translator, distress really signal, a self-defense pulse blast against anyone trying to force it off Ben's wrist, and... <laughs> Gray matter. Oh, gray matter. Why go in your lives? Come on. As, as a bonus, it can tell time. And whenever Ben comes across oh, a new alien he'd like to cosplay, it can scan their DNA so we can add them to his transformation collection. And he's got a ton to choose from. He's got alien forms that can control the elements oh. like lightning, water, mm. okay. ice, earth. So does he have the ability to just turn into one of their species or into one of just the specific one that he... And fire with his very first he transformation ever. And he scans. Along with some just beautiful fire puns. I'm totally hot. <laughs> ah, you gotta respect the classics. As yeah, forearms, he's basic, strong enough to create shockwaves with mere punches. Effective. As Accelerate, he can run fast enough to dodge lightning. As Diamond Head, he can survive massive explosions like they were nothing. But if you prefer... When his own physical condition affects his transformations, if he's sick, has an injury, or other ways we can yeah. So he can't have freaking insomnia like me. Myself, he can increase his intelligence with alien forms like Brainstorm. 
who has an IQ of one nonillion. That's a one followed by 30 zeros and more than three octillion times greater than the highest recorded IQ. I gotta say, yeah, of course it's a little kid. IQ in history. He can fly his jet ray, duplicate himself with ditto, and eat his feelings away as upchuck. Whereas that's really not a healthy way to handle issues. You know, you're right, Boomstick. Yeah, he should really just stick to alcohol. Well, and if he ever wants to suck <laughs> for some reason, he's got Waka Trout, which is a fish okay. with legs. And that's it. Probably bad <laughs> worst transformation. And that's saying a lot, considering he has an alien literally named the worst. If yeah. All timey horror movies are your thing. Ben nice. Can transform nice. Into every classic monster you can think of, because I guess zombies and werewolves were aliens all along. Cool. I knew it. Through different forms, Ben can manipulate the fundamental forces what of the universe. What does that say about like, like gravity, Mary Shelley and, and time and everyone energy. like that who Feedback, wrote about this stuff? Instance, once absorbed the entirety of the Big Bang and oh then my. fired it at a robot supervillain, creating a time loop and saving the universe. Yeah, as okay. he's got used to hero work, Ben's aliens started getting pretty insane. Like way big, who's basically a giant kaiju who can fire a cosmic Doesn't seem ray from his chest. That's big considering to being made of some pure of the energy. Ones. And let's not forget my personal favorite alien, Mole Stash. He's a mole who punches people with his mustache. Uh, Ultimatrix, which could access an alien transformation's ultimate form, however, is repeatedly stated to be inferior to the Omnitrix. Uh, you can't write that. Makes sense. Truly a okay, isn't the Omnitrix his mother or something like contrary that? Contrary to the show's very specific title, Ben's Omnitrix doesn't just have access to ten alien forms. In fact, it has one million nine hundred and twelve. He's no ordinary kid. He's been one million nine hundred and twelve. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue like Ben 10, does it? Yeah, well, uh, not let's really. See if I can take one of these babies for a spin. Where did you get that? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Whoa. Well, the Omnitrix does have one drawback. It usually has an automatic cooldown period for a few minutes between transformations. Yeah, because we're, we're, overuse we're, we're, can permanently disfigure the user's DNA. Interesting. Hey, we gotta say that four seconds earlier. If you'll excuse me, I need to pee out my face. <laughs> I'll fix this later. This cooldown would be a recurring issue for Ben until he discovered Master Control, a special right. code which, when input into the Omnitrix, just let him. Hold use on, it he was being made of fire, but and he was still wearing his jacket. The watch will automatically pop him into whatever alien body it thinks he needs at the time to survive whatever's happening. And there's one form that's almost always the best answer: Alien X. Born oh, in the right. forge of creation beyond the multiverse itself, Whoa. Alien X is a I'm celestial that thing with my hands the most powerful species in the universe. He's basically a cosmic god who can punch Wait planets to make what was it called? answer. Alien X. Born yeah. in the forge yeah. of creation beyond the multiverse itself, I wanted to Alien hear what X is a celestial sapien. The most powerful celestial species sapien. in the universe. Nice. He's basically a cosmic god who can punch planets to bits. Fly faster than light, duplicate himself, control minds, use telekinesis, reverse time, warp reality, and even just straight up erase people from existence. It takes a lot to get their attention, and that's fine. We don't want it. Why not? They could just blink, and we'd be gone. Alien nice. is so tough, but he survived the destruction it doesn't of the notice entire them? universe by the Annihilator, and they don't notice and didn't feel a thing. Like, but his durability was so through the roof, he didn't even realize total cosmic annihilation was happening right on top of him. Based on rough estimates made by a NASA astrophysicist, ha, hang on. the total ma So, your observation skills somehow get nullified because of your durability? What? What? I mean, yeah, you know, you might, you wouldn't notice, like, maybe someone poking you or something. Even someone punching you. Even someone firing a rocket at you or something. But surely you would, like, see it happening. Uh, why, why would that go, like, that would nullify things like touch and possibly smell, right? But sight? Uh, how would that, how would that happen? Mass energy of the universe in joules is four. Well, that doesn't seem very impressive. Followed by 69 zeros. Oh, there it is. And to top is that, it off, okay. Ben has alien e Is that Avogadro's number? I remember it's like something to the 69th something. 
X went and just remade an entirely new universe identical to the old one. First of all, how the hell? Second, since he just Man, made you need a, a red chain for that. That technically means that all those characters we watched through the whole show are still dead. Damn, dude. Throw somebody a bone or something. How yeah, that was a problem I had with Futurama. I mean, the Leela that we had, uh, you know, gotten to know over the seasons, uh, she was the one who wrote that message in the cave and everything like that, and she went on to, you know, just miss Fry for the rest of her life. You know, when he uh, went so far into the future that he saw the big rip and then experienced a new universe, and then another one after that, and then he got to know that Leela. And we're supposed to just accept her as the same one. And I really don't think they thought that through. However, Celestial Sapiens are composed of multiple personalities, Let's and if they see. can't unanimously agree on what action to take, which can take billions of years, all oh that my. power is basically useless. But Ben convinced his extra personalities that that's a real- According to the show's creators, Ben still needs to ask the personalities for permission. However, he's frequently been shown to take action immediately after transforming. So this <sighs> appears to be a non-issue in most cases. Most cases. So does that mean that there have been some where they disagree? And why is my gray sticking like that? <laughs> yeah, that's right. i got to look at something here. Uh... Down a month. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, we'll get in a death battle before my next birthday. Uh, my next birthday being the 13th of June. Oh, um, by the way, I wanted to let you guys know, just as a random, um, as far as things that I wanted to talk about, um, you can get The Sims 4 for free, like, right now for the next few days. Um, I'm saying this on um, May 22nd, 2019. <sighs> you go to Origin, it gives you any of that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, just back to where we were. Goddamn stupid, and he should have full control all the time, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you would think. Why doesn't he just go full Alien X all the time? Well, a little variety doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> Plus, even without his alien forms, Ben is pretty clever. And shredding that. For getting himself out and of shredding trouble, that. Even when things get really weird. <laughs> And he's saved the universe more Grandpa times slug. than he can count. He's defeated Vilgax when he had the power of a... And as a plumber in the galactic law enforcement, not like Mario, contained a nuclear blast, absorbed the Big Bang, that sounds... Absorbed the Big Bang and recreated the universe, sound like the uh, big ones here. Knocked out the Mayan god of death, yeah. <sighs> Saved the hybrid from extinction, defeated Vilgex, Kevin Eleven, Maltruant, and Galactic Gladiator. Okay. Oh God. And the hybrid I'm are all really tough. whooped another celestial sapien, the Galactic Gladiator. By flying so fast, he created a galaxy-sized black hole. We can tell from the size of the black hole in relation to the galaxies in the background, as well as how long it took to create, that Alien X must have been flying approximately seven quadrillion times faster than light speed. Okay. I get it, Wiz. Alien X is totally overpowered. And it didn't destroy him. How about that? Powers as a human. Oh, Not much of a problem really when the Omnitrix can instantly transform him fast enough to catch the Big Bang. The only okay. thing truly holding Ben back throughout his hero career was his immaturity, being a ten-year-old and all. Oh yeah, like that one time he messed with the Omnitrix and accidentally set it to self-destruct. After charging up for a few days, it would destroy the whole universe on its own. So that's not great. Fortunately, yeah. Ben grew into a reliable and wildly successful hero by the time he reached the age of 16. He would continue his hero work into the future, eventually adopting the name Ben 10,000. The world can rest easy with Ben 10 as its first and best line of defense. All right. Six Six and Volcanus? What are they doing here? About to get their alien butts kicked. That's I like her hair. Going hero. Okay, I swear there was supposed to be something about the Omnitrix actually being the spirit of his mother or something. 
I don't know. Am I confusing that with a different Hal show? Hal Jordan was just your average devilishly handsome ladies man and hotshot test pilot who discovered a crash-landed alien ship in the desert. Who ever thought okay, the so maybe enormous shin was supposed to be he handsome? Found this guy up in Sir dying in a crashed spaceship who gave Hal a little green ring before kicking the bucket. Far and so, by reciting an ancient oath, Hal Jordan everyone. would become a Green Lantern. This night no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might be where my power, Green Lantern, life! Do you have to say the whole thing or can you just think it? The Green Lantern Corps is a universe-spanning law enforcement organization founded by the immortal Malthusians, also known as the Guardians of the Universe. Hey, there's space oopaloopas! More like leprechauns. Okay, fine, whichever mythical creature you want. No, no, I mean a group of them traveled to Earth centuries ago <laughs> oh, I've been guilty of only one joke in my life, Green Lantern of Earth, and that turned out to be on and me. literally evolved into modern-day leprechauns. I knew they were real! Anyway, the Green Lantern Corps has patrolled <laughs> the really universe for three billion years, recruiting members of every shape and size. Including a living planet, a sentient smallpox virus, some guy with an exploding volcano for a head, a living... <sighs> a living ad! Basic. Wendy's made to crave chicken Cute sandwiches cat. taught me I could do better than basic. Upgrade from basic, the barbecue chicken sandwich, avocado I don't want to see a sandwich, fucking barbecue chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. At Wendy's, we got you. And I love barbecue chicken sandwich. Math equation and a squirrel. Man, even after all these years, Wiz, comics are weird. Imagine what it felt like for Hal when he began training on the Guardian homeworld Oa. Over time, he became one of the Corps' greatest members and defender of the universe. Just with that ring of his, it might look tiny, but if Mjolnir, Yoda, and That's a pretty big ring. Me anything, Why did they never put it back all the way? It's what you do with it. Uh, right. The Green Lantern power ring is actually one of the most impressive weapons ever made. It's most well known How much for its ability energy can to create absorb? hardened light constructs that function identically to what they're inspired by. Anything from boxing gloves to machine guns to an entire solar system. While nice, a ring's nice. wielder must be familiar with the object they're creating, they don't necessarily need to know all the ins and outs for it to function. Oh, that's good. The ring's energy so, like, I could create a computer and speed, and without having to know how it works? Field. He can shoot lasers, phase through objects, turn invisible, read minds, heal wounds, and fly through space faster than light. The only true okay. limit to a power ring's utility is its user's imagination. <laughs> and so far as allowing the Green Lanterns to bend the Powerful rules of the universe to their whims. The they can transmute the matter and nice. energy, manipulate time, form pocket dimensions, and warp the fabric of reality. And even though I've been sore when I play universe, match, the really. ring makes a competent Green Lantern really tough to kill. It has built-in defenses to protect against mind control, and it can sometimes yank its owner out of harm's way all on its own. It can even defend against multiversal erasure events, like when Kilowog survived the crisis on infinite Earths. <sighs> People just not something affected by the crisis. Okay. Oh, it minimized the window. Uh, only people not affected by the crisis normally were those outside its effects. Kilowog and other Green Lanterns were well within its range, but were unaffected due to the ring's protection. That sounds pretty awesome. And one day, the crisis wiped the planet out. I just found myself floating in rubble, wondering what the poos. My rings will save me, of course. Hey, this I don't guy know what came kind of a freaking retcon to the face. Whatever's in these rings, I want it in my dune buggy stat. That would be pure, unfiltered willpower. Yeah, how many miles is a gallon you think that is? Okay, well, a Green Lantern's ability stems from their own willpower. The stronger their will is, the more their ring can do. So if willpower is green, does that make fear brown? Yellow, actually, as dictated by the emotional electromagnetic spectrum. In so what you're saying is that the entire Green Lantern Corps could be wiped out by Azel. Hire me for your crossovers. From which all emotion in the universe is derived. Kinda like if the force from Star Wars was a rainbow of feelings. And Hal's got more willpower busting out than anybody else. Which makes him really damn powerful. And... Really damn reckless. Green yeah. Lantern got this. His enormous power has led to his possession <laughs> by Parallax, an entity. An entity, yes. All of that green, he looks like he stole from the Riddler. <laughs> 
Yeah, I wonder if a like a convincing lantern uh, person, uh, you know, a lantern wielder, could like can they change the color of the light that they emit? Like they still have the same power. Like he would still be a green lantern, but would he? Uh, could he change it to look like it's another color? Could, you know, any of them do that? I imagine there's got to be someone. I mean, if there's, what is it, a smallpox virus, a math equation, and so on. ba 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 I'm dancing while lying down. Why is this not working? It says that I'm connected. I'm gonna try to disconnect and reconnect. Is that gonna work? Twelve twenty-four. Of fear. Oh, there. And caused entire planets to fall. Okay, I'm gonna. Or not. Maybe that's just gonna wiggle it around. I ended up something something. The Green Lantern Corps, something, every one of them, and something, power, something. I really wish my computer worked. Just entire planets to fall, but it's been said that knowing true fear made Hal's will even stronger than before. Like when he that went up against good. this blue dickweed, Krona, who took control of all these space animal guys. Oh, like Kronika? <laughs> okay, why is this not adjusting I know I'm on you know some loopy internet right now but oh my god come on it's the kind of bullshit that happened with my internet you know this is why I don't go with frontier and that's but that's what she uses yeah I swear frontier ripped me the hell off they kept raising my rates they were like oh yeah your, your rate went up because this is your introductory rate ended and then it went up again and they were like yeah this is because your introductory rate ended and i'm like okay at least one person is lying to me possibly both of you a subpar internet the entire time i had it um they just kept giving me the run around and whatever they would send someone out my internet would work fine and I mean, I'm usually not one for conspiracy theories, but when that happens every single time, that's not a coincidence. You know, they're trying to claim that they, oh, it's like when we went out, your internet was registering perfectly. It's like, ah, oh, no, 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 you're not doing this. ...that embodied the different rainbow spectrum emotions, including <laughs> Iowa, the green basking shark of willpower. Iowa? Yes, I know. Hal was able to overturn Krona's plan, which meant overpowering the literal embodiment of all willpower in the universe As with a... his own willpower. That sounds... Uh, impressive? Impossible? Impressible? <laughs> That's going to be hard when those two eventually fight to the death. <laughs> and they have said that's going to be their final death battle whenever that happens. Hopefully not for several more years. Come on! On, just register already. Look like a decent screen. Contained the U bomb, probed the entire universe in a heartbeat. So, uh, that's going to be faster than Mega Man EX uh, EXE. Uh, Novem Decillion. So the magnetic force of the universe, well, aren't we all withstanding that every day? Punch Sinestro hard enough to shatter reality. I don't really know much about Sinestro, I just know he's like incredibly powerful. And also he looks like the typical depiction of Satan, so I would not be surprised if, as we learned here with leprechauns, I wouldn't be surprised if Sinestro was what inspired the typical, the traditional view of Satan. I don't know how old Sinestro is. Has tagged Flash and Zoom. Defeated Sinestro, Parallax, Necron, and Krona. 
Infected by a supernova and punched Necron. by the reality shattering supernova. I've defeated supernova Necron. Oh, was here we go. fast enough to fly to Earth from a planet at the edge of the universe. And factoring how DC's observable universe is at least 100 trillion light years in diameter, Hal must have been flying well over one and a half quintillion times the speed of light. Oh. And without the ring, Hal once had to pilot a ship traveling over light speed manually. The new god of speed, light ray, Hal entered the speed force. Nice. In comparison, while he was through a Toronto crash and take a faster and instantaneous teleportation without entering the speed. As in, okay. there were planets and stars in his way, and Hal had to steer. And since he can match the god of willpower, he can pull off crazy will feats that other Green Lanterns have done. Like when Kyle Rayner held back a big bang. But to be fair, the power ring is not perfect. It does carry a finite charge, and should he expend too much energy too quickly, Just he'll need seconds. his power battery to refuel. Also, oh, if yeah, his opponent carry that can ruin something. his willpower, or even just his belief in himself, Hal won't be able to use the ring, which is lame. Yeah, these powers are pretty complex. Batman once had a plan to trick Kyle into thinking he was blind, and because he believed he was, the ring reacted to his thoughts and actually made him blind. But Hal's too badass to let a little yeah, sadness take him out for good. Hell, he's got the cojones to arrest God. But Wiz, I gotta address the yellow elephant in the room. Why the hell are Green Lanterns weak to yellow? Ages ago, yes, the Green Lanterns couldn't have- Elise, I've had her in my town. <laughs> the impurity of the necessary development fixes the energy admixture, but as it's manifested here- I think yellow because Parallax had messed with their power source, but that is no longer the case, so Hal isn't held back by colors. And really, oh, that's not even the worst weakness a Green Lantern ever had. Wood, that's oh, right. Yeah. Way back in the day, a Green Lantern went rogue and tried to take over a planet of people with crude wooden weapons. And so as a great little F.U., the gods decided to make him weak to wood right before the blows started landing. Ah, good thing it's not a problem for hell. Whether it be brightest day or blackest Yeah, I seem to remember like his greatest weakness would be the, the number two pencil. Or he'll willpower you to death, apparently. Give up? Please say no. You'll never catch me, Lantern. Bang. <laughs> Into a cage. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. Yay! Hey, I'm Chad, I play Boomstick. I'm Ben, and I'm sick. Yep. Uh, but we did want to tell you guys about our event that we put on every year called RTX in Austin, Texas. It's a super fun yeah. convention where we've got a million wow. things going on. We've got video games and meet and greets and panels and signings and lots of stuff I like stuff that that was we drawn on. There. We can't wait to or see you there. We've got tattoo. a couple panels that we're going to be doing. Uh, the there's tattoos. one on Saturday, the Death Battle one. It's time for a Death Battle. We do it as, as often as we can. It's always fun having you I guys there. I would like there. that. We talk about Death Battle and matchups and, the Q and, and take and questions, things like that. So give it's us great. Kefka uh, versus Sephiroth. we got a signing right after that. Uh, and then on Sunday, we got a we deserve panel, it, which is about a secret project we've been working on for a while now. Can't wait to share it with you yeah, guys. Right. Yep, RTX is July 5th through 7th, uh, again in Austin, Texas. Head to RTXEvent.com, and we hopefully we'll see you guys there. I promise I will not be sick. You better not be. The key to being in radio is to look absolutely nothing like how you sound. I hope not. Stay away from me. <laughs> Probably a good idea. It's time for a Holy crap, battle! that was their only ad? Something we could actually sit through? I'm gonna move me up here. Huh? Hello! Green Lantern, best looking guardian of sector 2814 at your service. Hi! I can give you ten good reasons right now to let me go! Sorry, kid. Seems you're carrying a class A galactic super weapon. Ah. I'll just take this. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. You're not the first doofus to try to take this. It's hero time! <laughs> Gonna go full on a hero with this, huh? Lights out, Punchy. I have the right to bear all four of these. Oh, Let's stop this before it gets heated. Too late. Anyway, though, as far as, um, as far as what I think, uh, 
Green Lantern's a lot more durable than I thought, and he might be able to survive the whole recreating the universe thing, but um, it doesn't seem like he really has any way that he could actually kill Ben. So, uh, my money's still on Ben. You ever seen a supernova? Several, actually. Well, that city's trashed. Or not. Ha! You're so late. I bet I can even beat you as gray matter. <laughs> what? I didn't mean literally. Cute. Is that the actual moon? No, it's too small for the actual moon. Really neat. This is Alien X. He controls all of reality. This is over. Uh, I don't care what kind of. Everybody was dissolving. <laughs> Woo! Well, crap. Uh, I hate that color. That specific color there. Is it erased from reality thing? I don't care what kind of power. <laughs> reality includes time. Time, huh? Thanks for the tip. All right. So, are all Grand Lanterns kind of comparable to the first to try to take this? It's hero tip. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I stepped in the loser. Don't ask. Oh god. <laughs> KO! Well, that's another minor on our board of death. Ben's absurd versatility and ingenuity put up a stellar iconic design. Video will play after ad, and it's a 15 second ad! Discover exclusive styles of the enchanted Disney Fine Jewelry Collection at Sales, the Diamond Store. Why? See Disney's Aladdin with PG in theaters May 24th. Shut up! Fight, but Hal had the tools and skills he needed to ensure a victory. Ben has been shown to use hybrid transformations such as some future time- and in some future timelines. They're not easily accessed with a standard arsenal and wouldn't change the verdict. Wow, the Omnitrix is millions of aliens is just nuts. He could only ever use one at a time. While Hal always has access to all of his powers. Even with the flexibility of master control, this meant Ben was always playing catch-up. Not a great position to be in considering Green Lantern's might. Ben's diamond head form was tough, sure, but he wasn't surviving he a planet exploding against in his face. Accelerate was wicked fast, but not fast enough to cross the universe in an hour. And way big was really strong, but he didn't hit as hard as a supernova. Hal simply outclassed all of Ben's options, except for one. Yeah, how the hell did Hal beat Alien X? That thing... Ill able to kill Mandrake proves his ring can damage higher dimensional beings beyond even celestial sapiens. While a Ben 10 creator claimed Alien X to destroy a multiverse in six thoughts, this is not Spartan canon and was likely a not joke. Well, what not if it exactly. Turns out celestial it isn't sapiens a joke? are extremely powerful, but they can be beaten in battle and have failed in the past. Like the time Alien X recreated the universe. He only did that because he couldn't stop it from being destroyed in the first place. Alien X could definitely match a lot of Hal's power, but Hal had defenses against all of X's. Mind control? The ring protects Hal's head. Mess with time? Hal can do that too. Trying to wipe him from existence? Please, Green Lanterns can survive an entire universe being erased. Likewise, right. Alien X has never shown any defenses against yeah, like the I same said, I figured he would be able to survive that. Like mind control, transmutation, and time manipulation. 
Ben and his alien forms put up a great fight, and Alien X is easily one of the most powerful combatants we've ever seen on Death Battle. However, Hal had the speed, really? versatility, and literal willpower necessary to claim his victory. Guess you could say Hal was definitely the ringer for this fight. Ugh. Oh, Wiz, don't be green with envy. That pun was 10 out of Ben. The winner is Green Lantern. Okay, moving it over here so we can get a better view of whoever's next. I'm Sam, he's Luis, neither of us are Wizard Moonsick, but don't go anywhere just yet because we're about to announce the next matchup. And if you want the battle music, you can click the download link below. Dead. Vice Schnee. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Yes! It's I love Mitsuru! I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I absolutely love Persona 3. <laughs> and she's probably best character in that game. Oh, she's so cool. Um, I should probably explain something that happened during that fight. I, um, that color has actually made me physically ill in the past. Um, because, uh, you remember back when I reacted to Pokemon Generations, The New World, and I started crying, and, um, also in my What Diamond and Pearl Means to Me video, um, uh, the scene on the show when Cyrus opens the New World, um, had that color all over it, and I was not expecting it today. I was not expecting it to be one of those kinds of videos for me. Heavily heavily negative association on that color there. Um, that, um, anyway, interesting fight. Uh, did not go the way I thought. Um, I did correctly figure out, though, that Green Lantern would be able to survive a universe-ending event. Um, it's a shame we didn't get to see anything like that. I think that would have been really interesting. Um, this does lead to the question of abandoned timelines. Uh, I'm gonna go full, uh, chrono trigger on this then. <laughs> um, next battle, I know absolutely nothing about Vice Schnee. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I just know her name is White Snow. Uh, and she's from Ruby. And Mitsuru is freaking awesome. She has Penthesilea. Um, she, she, she's the absolute goddess. <laughs> and I made her in Tomodachi Life, and she married B2 from uh, Diamond and Pearl Adventure. It was hilarious. Uh, goodness. <sighs> I look absolutely sallow, don't I? It's funny, the reflection from the screen is green, but there's only one little bit of green on there. It's... you can't even see it. It's just down in an ad. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of... Stop seeing this ad! Uh, not interested in this ad. That's why I put for everything. Uh, so... Tell me in the comments if you want me to try to trick my parents into watching the rest of that Mortal Kombat video. Because <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. Um, also tell me, uh, what else you want me to get them to react to? Because I can't just sit them down and say, hey guys, we're going to be doing this. I want to sit them down and say, hey guys, we're going to be watching a few different videos. Maybe another death battle, I don't know. Um, uh, 
I don't know. Um, I mean, I did try to get my dad to watch one with me, but... <laughs> That's another minor on our list. FBI would like to know your location. Let's see, Genji versus Gray Fox. Uh, I'm just going to go through a whole bunch of... Uh, see what people uh, suggest here. Uh, Archer from Fates Day Night versus Kiba Yuto from High School DXD. Uh, huh. There's also not a whole lot of people... Uh, Steven from Steven Universe is versus Star Butterfly. Uh, I don't know. Just a bunch of people I've never heard of. You know a battle I'd like to see that they'll never ever do? Um, just because one of the characters is, he only exists in live action. Um, Agent 47 from Hitman versus Elliot from Leverage. I think that would be really cool. Uh, you guys should watch Leverage if you haven't already. Anyway, um, like I said, I don't have much to say about this one. Um, I only know one character for the next one. Uh, let's see where... <laughs> you ever have, like, the, just, the like, you see the people going, Oh, gotta step on me, etc., and you think, and Then you see Mitsuru, and you're like, I get it now. <laughs> okay, well, I've rambled for too long, including about things I really didn't want to. Uh, now, to go attempt to fix my pizza face. This is freaking ridiculous. And to uh, play with Athena, and to um, make plans to download Sims 4 when I'm at my parents' house, because I'm not about to subject my neighbor's limited Wi-Fi to that. I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.